going back to the professional athlete thing, because this is the most fascinating aspect, I think, is what's the most challenging thing you had to face um, as a professional athlete? You know, I was a punter. I mean, I love punting and kicking. Everybody can make jokes about what punters and kickers go through, what they don't go through. Um, he still yeah, did the league I mean, minimum, you know, right? Unfortunately, I saw a second contract <laughs> in, in Arizona, and we, we had a lot of success. Test, played NFC Championship game, almost went to the Super Bowl, went 13-3 and three in 2015. Uh, just an awesome team. I mean, winning football is the most fun thing ever. Like, if you're in the NFL and you suck, it's not fun. Everybody's job is on the line every single week. Nobody's having fun. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you know, you could get cut any day. If you're 13-3 and three and you're playing home playoff games and trying to go to win a Super Bowl, it is a lot of fun to go to work. Um, I mean, the hardest thing, that's a great question. Like, you know, social media, people are so damn mean on social media. It's yeah, they are. are. We, ran, we ran into that problem just recently. Yeah, going after Apparently my wife I rub people the wrong way. It's just not like, like, if my buddy miss a field goal, like, you just, it's hard not to look at it. Yeah. Right. Um, but, you know, it's like apples and oranges. You know, you go home to your family, you have a good, you have a, a good life. But my God, people, it's like unbelievable mm -hmm. some of the stuff that's Can't said. Can't even imagine. Um, and fortunately, you know, uh, you know, it'll get to you, but it's like, holy cow, let's just kind of, let's just kind of take a, take the wheels oh, off. A I mean, bit. I'm Jeez. sure you faced it even in college it. though. I, I mean, when I was there, yeah, my friend was yeah. the, uh, the kicker during kick six and yeah. the death threats. Oh my God, that's insane. He received, I mean, I was like, he's what, 22? Like what, what, what are we doing? I mean, he wouldn't even sleep at his own home. He I went know, to sleep somewhere else because he was that afraid of these threats that he was getting. It was insane. And hmm. it's so, it gets so loud at points to where like the decision makers in the office are seeing it you know what i mean like right. it's affecting everybody when it gets that loud it just kind of sucks but the people that you can trust and, and the guys in the locker room like they all know you and they trust you and you know you mentioned your friend the kicker like everybody in the locker room still loves him still talks to him this day like that's where you know what's most important for sure I right, the president it was at that time um <clears throat> george w bush was president um or no he had he was out of office at this time but he was 43 and my friend's number was 43 and bush actually like wrote him a letter that oh, said from cool. 143 to another like oh they'll God. always remember the bad you do but you oh, need to remember the good. good and it was just it's framed in their living room it's adorable awesome. but you know like it's just i was like a president a former president was hearing about right. this that's yeah, how bad it yeah, got that's real drew one of my favorite mark rick stories is and i wish i could remember the kicker now but it was um i don't know maybe a couple of years before. marshall morgan was it him? Okay. But do you remember Was it Marshall Morgan? You probably, yeah, the, yeah. You probably anticipate the, the incident that I'm talking about right now, where before the kick even yeah. happened, he called him over and he said, look, I don't care what happens here. Just know that no matter what happens here, I love you no matter what. And like, yeah, just, just like what that means to that kid. I mean, it's just, uh, it just struck me. It was just amazing uh, to, for, for a coach to say that to a player. I mean, obviously I know he's going to try to encourage him, but man, just the authenticity of that statement that he made, it was just, oh man, it was amazing. So, yeah. And you know, that's the best thing about coach Rick is that the guy that you saw weekday press conferences, sideline on Saturdays, post game press conferences during the Aussies, same guy, like he was the same guy. His integrity is unmatched. Um, I'm so lucky to have played for him. He came to my wedding Shot him a text message last week when the news broke that he had moved back to Athens. Immediately text me back. Um, saw him at the Delta Sky Club in Atlanta, you know, way before COVID, like 2019. Freaking sat down with him and his wife, and we chatted for 25 minutes. Like, that's the best. You can't, especially now some of the news stories that you see about coaches, what they oh, have yeah. done in the past, what gets uncovered, some of the stuff that gets covered mm. up. That ain't Coach Rick, and I was extremely lucky to play for somebody like him. That's our, for sure. Our friend, one of, one of my friends, and who's on the show a, a little bit, um, was a walk-on at Georgia, and says the same thing. You know, he met Coach Rick as a as a kid, and always wanted to play there, and um, ended up getting to as a walk-on, and just said he was so um, genuine and authentic. And so I think it's yeah. it's great to just to hear that continuity across stories. Now, don't get me wrong; he'll get on yep. your ass now. 
But you, I mean, I mean, he, he's seen, a football coach. We've, uh, we've seen it once or twice. I was like, hey, I've got some funny stories about him, man. He, you know, when I was becoming a junior and senior, he used to just lay into me for no reason at all. Of course, it wasn't my fault. character <laughs> building. He would just lay into me. Yeah, yeah. So good stories there. Too. We always got a chuckle when Rick was still the head coach when he'd get fired up, which was so rare to see because he'd be on the sidelines, just calm as a cute as a cucumber, and just be like. And then he'd go off, and it'd, I'd get a kick out of it at least. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're like, sure. all right. Go ahead, Wes. I was just going to say, you're like, where did that come from? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's always fun to watch Rick get fired up. Um, and then you have Kirby, who's constantly fired up. And he's constantly, <laughs> oh, what's yeah. wrong? Zero, zero sky is awful. falling. <laughs> yeah. Sky is yeah. falling every yeah. minute of every yeah. day. Yeah. Must be nice to have a football coach that wins. Um, anyway, 